Nelson Chamisa, the head of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, has disclosed that Zimbabwe's ruling ZANU-PF party has expressed interest in speaking with the opposition to resolve the post-election impasse in the nation. Chamisa claimed that ZANU-PF contacted him after the opposition group declared its withdrawal from municipal and parliamentary institutions in opposition to the recall of its lawmakers. Senjizo Chibangu, a former MDC official, shockingly engineered the mass recall of the party's legislators and senators, causing a crisis for the CCC. To compel the recalls, Shibangu, posing as the interim secretary general, sent letters to Jacob Mudenda, the Speaker of Parliament. Christopher Mutsbangwa, a spokesman for ZANU-PF, had earlier claimed that Chamisa had dispatched envoys to seek negotiations with the government. Chamisa refuted this, claiming that ZANU-PF was the one who made contact. In the wake of the contentious elections held on August 23rd and 24th, Chamisa highlighted the necessity for dialogue to advance the nation. He disputed the election victory of President Emerson Umingagwa and called it a colossal fraud. Chamisa urged the creation of a mechanism to resolve the problems with the electoral process. The legitimacy controversy and the national issues he suggested installing a caretaker administration over predetermined periods of time, due to ZANU-PF's strong majority in parliament. Mningagwa had previously ruled out the idea of an inclusive government. In contrast, Chamisa argued for new elections, noting issues with voting irregularities brought up by observer missions from the African Union and the Southern African Development Community. The late President Robert Mugabe was forced to create a unity government with the opposition MDC groupings in 2009 as a result of the contested 2008 elections. As MDC leader Morgan Svangerai withdrew in protest of violence committed by ZANU-PF and state security agents, Mugabe won the sham runoff election in a one-man show. From 2009 to 2013, Zimbabwe had a unity government that brought about some degree of peace and economic stability. The unity government was opposed by Chamisa, who also emphasized the need for a transitional administration to handle the nation's political issues. In order to address the legitimacy crisis and other difficulties affecting Zimbabwe, he emphasized the necessity of support from all stakeholders, including ZANU-PF and the CCC. The recalls of CCC MPs and council members were deemed regressive by Chamisa, who claimed that neither the CCC's supporters nor even some members of ZANU-PF had cheered them. He emphasized constitutional concerns with regard to elections, legislation, and public safety. ZANU-PF claimed that it had nothing to do with the recalls and attributed them to internal disputes within the CCC. The Office of the President and Cabinet's Deputy Director for Information, Anytime Mutambudzi, was approached by the Standard for a response to Chamisa's charges, but she rejected and advised contacting the President directly. I do not speak for CCC. The President himself may be reached, Mutambudzi stated yesterday. I'm not familiar with those difficulties, 